Why do women have selective hearing when it boils down to relationships? I want y'all to stick around. We're going to bat down on it. Welcome to the manhole. It's your host, DJ Kevin Kev. Guys, have y'all ever had a conversation with a woman in regards to a relationship? And you asked her, what are the most important things about having a successful relationship? And her answer is communication, number one, if not number two. And then you get in a relationship and you realize that she only wants to communicate on her terms. She only want to communicate when it's beneficial to her feelings. Now, you can sit there and talk to a woman five hours, five long hours, and spend five seconds talking about her shortcomings or something she did wrong. Or maybe an attitude that needs to be changed. Maybe some bad habits. And it could be just a small bad habit. And all communication breaks down. She stopped focusing on the 98.9% .9 of the stuff that you told her she was doing good. And that she was gloating about. And start focusing on that 5% or that 1.5%. Or excuse me, or the 5 seconds that... You spent telling her about her shortcomings. And her shortcomings is just magnified. And she don't want to hear nothing else. Because she's just so focused on that one little thing. But she can tell you everything that you do wrong. Now she'll point out some stuff that she do wrong. But mainly it's the stuff that she think is bad about herself. That she wouldn't like. That probably don't even matter to you. And when you point out the one thing that hurts her little feelings just a little bit, all communication broke break down. Then she started justifying it. Then after that, she started telling you about what you're doing wrong and what make her do the things that she do. Instead of just sitting there and listening, trying to trying to focus on what you're saying. Instead of focusing on what she what she want to say and how she want to justify it. But if you ask them, that's the first thing out of their mouth. Communication. You, you, you have to communicate. Yeah, we have to communicate as long as the communication don't hurt your feelings. As long as the communication don't hurt now feeling, you good. You good. But soon as you start hurting your feelings just a little bit, it's over. It's over. Because, guys, to be honest with you, women don't like to be told that they're doing something wrong. They hate that. I mean, as men, we, we don't really like it either. But we not, but through our whole life, we learn how to deal with it. We learn how to deal with being told, you know, man, you got to do this better. You know, man, you fail at that. You know, man, you got you, you, you to gotta step it up a little bit. So automatically that engine come on in our head like, okay, let's get my game. Let, 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 let me get my game together. Yeah. Let me do what I got to do to pick it up. Then we come back. It's all good. We come back and we step our game on up. But women don't never like to be told that, hey, you know, you might need to clean up a little bit more. You, may, you might need to start cooking. You might, you, you might need to not be so mouthy all the time. How about you change your attitude a little bit towards people, towards me? You know, but they don't like that. They want you to only communicate as long as what you're saying is soft you know you'll you'll you'll, you'll stay you'll throw softballs out there and 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 it, and it's real easy it's real light and, and now now it, it don't matter and, and you're thinking well you can't just come in and and just uh be so direct be so uh arrogant be so mean no no you can come in i'm gonna tell you you can tell a woman something as nice as you possibly can and 
right after you be done told her 98% of what she done did is good. And I'm telling you, she's going to have selective hearing. She's going to have selective hearing. She'll remember that throughout the whole relationship, that selective hearing. She'll remember exactly what you told her. Even It don't matter how nice you can be. And it don't matter if you give her the solution to the problem either. Because guess what? It's still an issue until she feels better about the conversation. Don't matter if the problem is solved. Don't matter if you give her the answers to the test. It's still an issue until the problem is solved. Excuse me. Until her, uh, uh, until the, uh, until her feelings are, are, are okay with the conversation. I see. That's a lot of what you guys don't understand, man. Uh, when you get into these relationships and you start going back and forth with these women and, and y'all having arguments, I'm going to tell you, y'all think they're coming up with the solution, giving her the answer. That's going to fix the problem. It ain't going to fix the problem because the problem is not over until she feels better about the conversation. It's, it, it's, it's all about how she feels. Don't matter if she got the answer to the test. She'll give you back the answer. She don't want them answers. She want to feel good about the test. She want to feel good about the conversation. So she's going to pick and choose little bitty stuff within the conversation. And it happens a whole lot when she knows she done done something wrong. When a woman knows she done done something wrong, then guess what? Instead of her saying, you know what? I did this wrong, man. What can I do to make it right? She's going to go automatically into justification mode. She gonna hit that, uh, yeah. She gonna hit that justification mode. Once she hit that justification mode, man, you forget about it, man. You might well just go on shut up, dog. You just might well go on shut up. Cause once she hit that justification mode, it's over. She gonna justify everything she did. Don't matter if 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 she did wrong. But see, the biggest problem with women is they don't understand this here. The truth is like a water stopper, man. Every time you pop, every time you try to, every time you try to stop it and, and patch it up, it'll pop back up somewhere else. It'll pop back up over here. It'll pop back up over there. Then you got to deal with it again. Then you got to deal with it over here. It always going to come back. Because guess what? Nobody is bigger than the truth. I don't care who you think you are. I don't care where you think you've been. And I don't care what you think your status is or how good you look, man. Ain't nobody bigger than the truth. And when you're wrong, you're wrong. When you're wrong, you're wrong. And you need to understand that you're wrong. And sometimes women can't do that. But as a man, hey, it ain't, it ain't like I said, man, it ain't my job to tell women what to do. It's my job to tell you how to handle what they do, how to counteract to what they're doing. So if you get in a conversation, you got something to tell a woman, man, you just might well go on straight out and tell her that, look, this is what you're doing wrong. Forget all that trying to soften the blow and all that bullshit, man, because she ain't finna hear that. If you, you can soften the blow all you want, as soon as you try to ease in with the heavy stuff or the light stuff, in, in your mind, man, it's going to be heavy on, on, on her end, and then she ain't going to want to hear it. Communication broke down. Houston, 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 Houston. Come in, Houston. Come in. Come in, Houston. Houston. We going down, Houston. You ain't going to get no response. You ain't going to get no response. Anyway, man. Man, I want y'all to have a good day. I want y'all to uh try to help somebody out, man, when you can, man. Try try, man. You know, that that's an important part of our life, man. Helping out one another, man. Start caring about each other. But anyway, man, until next time, man, I want y'all to stay. Y'all want y'all to stay blessed, man. Peace.